everybody! Um, this is Saki from MyHeartCoastof.com and before I even get started, today is actually Christmas Day. So to all of those who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas from both myself and at Grim Santa who's standing behind the camera. And I'm sure he wishes you the same. And to those who don't celebrate, Happy Holidays! Um, I'm gonna start off actually announcing the winner of the last giveaway only because it should have been announced on Tuesday and then I got sick and then my ceiling collapsed in the bathroom and so things just kind of keep uh, <laughs> uh, preventing us from announcing the winner so I'm gonna do that now if you guys remember the giveaway was for the pink ghost Helena Garcia chubby book and uh, the mister did a great job of putting the book in my hands, superimposing the book into my hands last time, but this is the real size, actual size, right? And I just wanted to show it off a little bit because it's the first time that I actually hold one of these books. All right, these retail for $21.95 at pinkghost.net, and uh, the inside comes with 10 um, artist postcards. So again, this is Helena Garcia, right? And it comes with, I believe, a hundred lined pages. Right? I love it. I love right. And I believe 150 sketched pages. Sketchbook pages. And they also have, I'll show you one of the postcards so that you can see. Full color. I I really love Helena's art actually. I feel like she needs a lot more love from people because she's got some funky characters. You can check out her website and remember I mentioned that it would have a sketch inside? Look at it. I wish I could steal this. I actually tried to put my name in the drawing a couple times but I remembered that I filmed this and people would know so darn it. Um, so let me announce the winner. Oh yeah and by the way it has three bookmarks. I forgot to mention that. And I like that it closes tight. Let's do this. I got this from CVS. And the winner is Audrey. And this was your I Heart Cool Stuff comment. I'm not sure whether you entered on Twitter, but um, congratulations. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the last show we went to. It was actually the, I believe the name of it was Saline, right? And it was at My Plastic Heart, the Dosa Kim show. And I was very worried, and I think I mentioned this in my previous video blog. Um, I was really worried because it was a lot darker than the stuff that I've seen at My Plastic Heart ever. But when I got there, it was these massive pieces, and it was really cool actually um, I actually got a bag from the show it has a bunny and bunnies are always cute so yes um, anyway this is sort of like a lot more lighthearted than the stuff that I saw at the show it's uh, actually he did it all with ink and it was all black ink actually and it was really like sort of chaotic but at the same time it was I don't know, there were, you you would just look at it and there there was a certain calm to it too. I don't know if that even makes sense. Um, but I really loved one piece and if I had $500 I would have purchased it. But someone else beat me to it anyway, so I couldn't purchase it anyway. Um, but yeah, no, um, the pictures definitely do not do it justice. So if you guys are in New York City, I really recommend you check it out in person. Believe me when I say they're just really big pieces, um, bigger than most of the pieces that I've seen at my plastic heart also. Um, it's a small collection but a lot of work went into it and so it's definitely worthwhile. Um, now I'm going to, oh yeah, because I said it was Christmas, right? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to share my Christmas present with you guys. Um, Christmas, it's a really awkward time for me because I, I have a lot of Christmas spirit and at the same time, growing up, uh, and still now, really, uh, we've sort of been a low-income family, so 
like I noticed a lot of the struggles that my family went through to try to make Christmas the best but like they weren't always able to afford presents and so it just brings up a lot of memories too so little things like I start bawling because they just mean so much to me but uh the mister got me a present and it was awesome but I'll start off with how it started started with this I'm normally much neater than this but I looked at Hello Kitty and I was worried I was a little bit worried because I don't like Hello Kitty. <gasps> I know, blasphemy. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't like her. I love a lot of the other Sanrio characters. I think she's just, I don't know. I find her cute sometimes, but for the most part, it's just like, come on. All right, Kurobi, like a bunch of other characters, Batsmaru, they're super cute and they need more love. But I started with this and then I got this and I looked at it and it looked like Pudgy's zombies. And I was like, oh my god, somebody's ripping off Pudgy stuff. But little did I know that it was actually something that Pudgy created. My mister, it seems, had commissioned Pudgy to create my very first custom dunny. I have a lot of stuff on my lap right now. I wrapped him up exactly how he came. <gasps> Look! It's a Left 4 Dead themed dunny. And that's my character, Minisaki. If you guys go to the website, you've seen Minisaki all over that website. She's currently wearing a Twitter outfit, actually. And I'm holding a shotgun. Oh yeah. And all the special infected, like I said, it's Left 4 Dead. If you guys don't know what Left 4 Dead is, then Maybe you didn't watch my previous video blog because I think I talked all about Left 4 Dead 2 coming out. But um, it's a zombie game. Well, zombie, infected, right? Depends what kind of a zombie fan you are. But uh, it has a lot of special infected and they're actually surrounding me. And I'm like the badass ready to kick their ass and kill them. Yeah, I said that. And then it's like... Left 4 Dead starring Mini Saki and then Paji Pandas on my booty. It's super cute. It's got a lot of zombies on it. So thank you. Well, you know, the present came from my mister, but Paji for putting all the hard work and doodling all over it. Dunny for me. Yay! Um, but yes, I really appreciate it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, hopefully you guys got really cool stuff too and I definitely love to know what you got so you can share that with me but I'm gonna finish it off with um, the next two giveaways um, these are gonna be the last two giveaways uh, for 2009 and um, one of them is for Pudgy Pandas can you guys see it can they see it alright one of them is for Pudgy Pandas pin it's actually both it's a laser engraved um, wooden pin and it comes with a circle so that you can wear it as a necklace if you want I love to wearing it as a pin because I put it on my coat on the sleeve of my coat anyway uh, it's a panda with a mustache that's just uber cute and why wouldn't you want to own it All right? And <laughs> I'll give you more details on the website and then the other one this one's mine you can't have this one but Andy from Crazy Label is sponsoring a Snow Treason giveaway. He, like, I'm, I'm a big fan of Treason. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a simple design, not like childish design, but a simple design um, that just really brings a lot of joy to my life. I have all the baby Treasons because my mister gifted it to me for my birthday last year. And so he's just another one to add to my collection. He comes with an orange scarf. And this was, I believe, a ret retro 3D exclusive. Um, it was during Designer Con. But uh, Andy, Crazy Label, has the other 300. Um, and look at it. It stands at three inches tall. I'm going to give you more information on how to win him too. But believe me like I've been carrying him in my bag every day just sort of looking for the perfect photo op for him because he deserves that much love but uh I'm just gonna wish you guys good luck see ya